Hello everyone and welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Akshada and in this video we will be covering how to configure data integration service with high availability. The agenda of the video is to understand what is HA, what are the advantages of the HA, the prerequisites and a quick demo on the same. HA or high availability for data integration service minimizes the interruptions to the data integration task. HA enables service manager and the DIs to react to network failures as well as service failures. So in case if the DIs goes out of memory on a particular node, the DIs will be automatically restarted on the backup node configured. HA eliminates the single point of failure in a domain and provides minimal service interruption. It is possible only with the multi-node setups as you need two nodes, primary and a backup. HA also provides workflow recovery option. It could be direct workflow recovery, manual configuration or automatic, automatic workflow recovery based on the licensing options. Resilience, failover and recovery are three main advantages of the HA. When data integration service process becomes unavailable, the DIS tries to restart the process or fails the process to the other node based on the service configuration. That is called as restart and failover. Next is the recovery. Whenever DIS process shutdowns unexpectedly, DIS can automatically recover the con cancelled workflow instances on the backed up node. So when DIS process comes up on the backup node, the workflows can start from the point where they had stuck, or where they were stuck or where they were cancelled. Workflow recovery is the most important factor or most important advantage of the HA. Now let us see the prerequisites needed for TIS HA configuration. The first and the most important one is the multi-node environment. User should have a domain with more than one node in it. You should have a license to configure HA for DIS. And third one is the shared file system. HA failover for data integration service is the licensing option that needs to be active in the domain to configure HA for data integration service. You have multiple other options as well, but based on which configuration you need, other options are required. For basic HA concept of DIS, you need HA failover for data integration service. A data integration service process will fail over to backup node in the following situations. The first situation is when the DIS process fails and the primary node on which DIS is configured is not available or the node is available, but the DIS service process fails for some reason. In these two scenarios, the DIS will come up on the backup node configured. Whenever data integration service fails over from primary to backup or from one node to other node, all the jobs which are in running state should be smoothly restarted on the node where DIS has come up. And that is why the input, output files, the source data, the parameter files should be placed on a common shared location and that is why another prerequisite is it is recommended to have a shared directory specifically for input output files and the parameter files. So this was all about prerequisites. Now let us see a quick demo on this configuration. So let us log into the admin console. As you can see I have a multi-node domain over here. I have two different nodes in the domain. Now let us go and see how to configure DIS. So I have a DIS which is currently configured to run only on a single node. So we will be first going and changing the configuration. So I will be assigning a backup node. I have one node available. Just choose the list of nodes that you want to configure as backup node. Once the configurations are updated, make sure we recycle the data integration service for the changes to take place. So as you can see, when a DIS is configured to run on a single node, the process will be seen something like this, enabled running and on which node it is running. But when we configure it to run on HA, you will see primary node backup node. And when you go to the processes tab, you will see two different processes available. One will be in the running state, second one will be in the standby state. So this is the configuration for HA. So three main prerequisites. First is you need to have a multi-node domain. Second one, you need to have the license associated with the HA for data integration service. I think we had covered this. And third one is you will have to make the configuration changes with respect to the 
service process and fourth one is the shared file system so in my case all these file system are shared file systems so i have not made any changes to the file system at the moment so this is how we configure data integration service to run with high availability i have shared few links with respect to the configuration you can refer to application service guide or there is a knowledge base article available on implementation of high availability for data quality we would love to hear from you on the feedback of the video you can tweet us at the given twitter handle or write us at the given email id thank you